word you got? Um, extremely grateful um, to be a part of this organization and, and be recognized like this um, by, um, you know, great staff and great people uh, means a lot. Um, you know, there's been a lot of hard work going into this, not just by myself, but all the boots on the ground with the rest of the scouts and the, the guys in the office and uh, really thankful, especially to my wife and, and the kids. It's quite an honor. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, just extremely blessed to be a part of such an amazing org and be able to learn from so many great people every day. So very thankful thankful and excited to be here. Tom, how do you maybe assess the state of the organization? What is it like doing your job now as opposed to, you know, in the past when the team was in the rebuild and now the team's doing so well? Sure. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the mindset of it, it's just continually – uh, to get better and to grow. And I came in here in 2019 where it's, it was a little different look on the, on the big league field. And with all our hard work, not just scouting, but with player development and these guys over on the international side, you could see it grow each year. And to be a part of that is, is really special. And to see our, our draft guys out on the field is something special too. And now it's just a continual challenge um, to, to, to keep growing, you know, to not be satisfied and, and keep building each year. So it's, it's fun to be a part of. Samuel, well, what has it meant to the international program to now see, I think it's 12 guys in the top 30 and, you know, I mean, that's a pretty strong number, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, you guys are out there doing some good things down there. What does it mean to the staff to see that? Oh, it means the world, man. Um, we, we have some staff members that have been down there for 30 years and for them to see it now, all the hard work uh, every single day, it, it really means the world to us. But, I mean, we're really not focused on that. We're trying to just take it one day at a time and get better every single day. And I think if we continue to do that, we're going to keep bringing some guys in the top 30. And um, kudos to our international scouts as well because they make it easy to us. Uh, they're signing some great players. and it, It's easier for us getting those good players and just doing what we do best and try to get them better so we can continue to add some guys to the top 30. How excited are you for the next steps as it comes to your international players, not just getting them to be top 30 prospects, but getting them to be big leaguers? It seems like you guys are on the precipice of at least a couple of those guys getting up here. Yeah, I mean, that's what we work every single day for. Um, I'm sure you guys know about Basayo. We're really excited about his future, um, and we're just working really hard to hopefully create a few more of those. That, that's the goal. But um, it's, it's hard to look at the future. We're just trying to control what we can control, and, and that's it. That's just going one day at a time and doing our, our best and trying to create challenging environments for our guys to get better during practice so we can create a few more of those guys. This infrastructure to the international side is still pretty new. Um, to have a success like Vasayo, does that give you guys feedback of, hey, we know what we're doing in this space. We can keep doing this with future players. Does that give you positive feedback the way you can interact with them? Yeah, it, it does. But every guy is different. And Basayo is just a special guy. So um, it, it does. And we're honestly just going one day at a time and, and trying to create good practices and make our guys better. So it does give us feedback. But every, every player is a little different. Donovan, uh, Griff and Ethan are signings, right? Correct. Uh, we see the end result, draft day, signing, boom, they're in Camden Yards, but you've been with them a lot longer than that. Can you talk about how long you follow them and a little bit about the process from starting there to here? Sure. Yeah, a lot of these guys, these college guys, we've seen since high school. Um, and then watching these guys grow throughout their college career. I mean, Griff was a, a three-year starter, and, and so was Ethan as well. And so seeing these guys... Uh, grow as as athletes and as you know young men has been is one of the fun parts about our job and and just super excited for those guys and stepping on the field and and getting their career started uh, but it, it's a it's a grind it's it's a long process um, talking with coaches um, getting the the background information going to their practices going to their games going to inter squads um, <clears throat> I first saw this year at U U uh, UVA in Jacksonville. Next time I seen them, I seen them in Massachusetts, Boston. And, and then the last one I finished up back at home. So just chasing these guys around the country and, 
and doing what we can to, to get, you know, figure out the, the, the picture, trying to paint the picture on these guys and, and, and project on, on what they're going to be in a few years. So it's fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. With those two guys specifically, what, what makes them special players? That, that, that's a, it's a great question. Uh, tremendous athletes, both of them. Baseball is, is easy. Is it, not easy, but it's, it's natural for them. But the character and the makeup of those kids, they're going to get to their ceiling because they're, they're, you know, their family upbringing, where they come from, and, and they're going to do whatever it takes to, to make it to the big leagues and, and hopefully be there for a long time. Um, just, just great kids, hard workers, and their, their head coach just has the utmost respect for them and, and just, not just, the, not just the baseball part, but just all around just great kids. We're in a day and age with so much data and analytics information, especially on the college side. How important are intangibles still to your job? It's, it's a separator. It's a separator. You, you got to uh, check those boxes with, with certain type of results um, when, you, when you're talking about stats and, and, and data and whatnot. But um, when you get to the minor leagues, everyone checks those boxes. The guys that make it to the big leagues and stay have those intangibles with those that certain time, a certain type of uh, mentality, the, the work ethic, the growth mindset, and that and that's what they preach up and down the, the organization. And and these guys definitely check those boxes. Sam, well, we know in the farm development over wins and losses that's preached pretty much by everybody now, and yet had a DSL playoff team, and I, I covered a team a long time. I don't remember one. I mean, how, was that meaningful? Did that mean a lot to the kids down there in the staff? Um, I think it does. Like you said, that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to develop these guys. But uh, I'm, I'm a firmly believer that if we are doing the right thing and we're getting our guys better, it's going to show in the win columns as well. So I think it means a lot for the staff. It just motivates us to go out there and, and continue to create good ball players so we can keep um, just winning games. And, and, and it's a lot of fun. Winning is fun. I'm sure you could list their 30 guys when I ask this question. But is there anybody whose performance this year really impressed you on the international side? Any, any guys that really stood out and took big leaps this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, the one guy that comes to mind right away is Keller Morphy. Um, just being able to start in the DR and skip a level and go straight to the Omarva and then be able to perform at a high level, that's amazing. Um, I still remember we, I was the one who told him in front of the whole team. So that was an amazing moment. And then uh, a week later, we were all in the cafeteria on the DR watching him pitch. And guys were excited about his first strikeout when he got out of the first inning. I think it was amazing. And it, it, was, it meant a lot for our international program.